you just got home from work and decide to run that dishwasher that's full of dishes from yesterday so that way you're all set to go for tonight's dishes. You come back when you think the machine's done and you open the door and everything looks clean and dry. But as you pull the top drawer out, disaster strikes. Water splashes down from all of those plastic sandwich containers and lids and onto the nice dry plates below. Everything is ruined. Tons of dishes are now wet and you either have to pull out the dish towel or put them in a drying rack before putting them away. It's 2024. We put man on the moon well over five decades ago. You can instantly chat with your friend on the other side of the world. And you can drive around in a giant stainless steel doorstop. But here you are, standing in the kitchen, hand drying dishes that came out of a nice modern dishwasher. What gives? Well, normally I do research and try to learn a bunch about a topic, then make a video. But for this one, I wanted to present my best guesses at what the problems are with plastic that make them essentially undryable in the dishwasher. Because this is a problem I've been thinking about for a while, and I have some ideas. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm right, and if you can think of any other reasons why this might happen. Plastics are great. They can be easily formed into tons of shapes, and can be quite flexible. This allows us to make all sorts of things, like sealable lunch containers, complex lids for coffee mugs and water bottles, but it also leads to issues. I'm sure you've seen this before. Take this lid. It works great to seal things in, but look at this geometry. What happens when we flip this thing upside down for washing in the top rack? Look at that, evil water holding areas are built right into it. So plastic dishes often have complex geometries or concave areas that want to hold on to water. And a small puddle like this doesn't dry too well in the dishwasher. Plastic often has these shapes for two reasons. One is that we want these shapes for things like sealing or for complex mechanisms like this Contigo lid. But they can't be easily and cheaply made out of any other material. The other is that because plastic can be flexible, supporting geometry like these ridges need to be added to stiffen the dish. I know what you're thinking. Other materials can have pretty complex shapes too. I'm looking at you, metal pot lids. So that brings me to my second idea, thermal mass. Basically, thermal mass is a measure of a material's ability to store and release thermal energy. Having a high thermal mass means the material will absorb heat and take its time releasing it, meaning it stays warm for longer. You can think of thermal mass as a sort of thermal inertia, if that helps. So what does this mean for plastics? Well, plastics tend to have a low thermal mass, meaning plastic dishes cool off very quickly after the dishwasher stops. Think of your ceramic plates that can still be nice and warm when your plastic dishes are all cool and wet. Water evaporates much more quickly when warm, so water tends to stay on plastic dishes for longer because they cool off long before water on them can dry, especially when there's a literal water puddle on the dishes due to geometry. So those are my two best guesses at why we still have to deal with the travesty that is wet plastic dishes in 2024, thermal mass and geometry. Let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas, or if you think I'm completely off base. Catch my other videos here or on my channel. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.